So if I go, it's a lot different than if I go like this. Are you tired of sounding like a robot going up and down a scale? You know the scale, you know the, the, the notes, but you just can't make them sound musical. Right? You need that feel, that touch. So let me show you what I teach inside of my course, Lead Guitar for Beginners, and it's called the Big Four. And it's something you can do to every single note you play for it to sound magical, okay? I'm gonna be using that little house of blues that you can find inside of the Lead Guitar Playbook. So what can we do to every any one of those notes for them to sound absolutely amazing. The first one is attack. How strong, how how much intensity are we gonna apply to every one of those notes? So if I go, it's a lot different than if I go like this. It sounds completely different. The note is exactly the same, but it completely changes the way it sounds. And if we throw in five of those notes with that little house, I could play them like this. Very aggressively, or I could play them like this. I played exactly, exactly the same thing, but it sounded completely different. So that's one thing, attack. The second thing is speed. How fast are we gonna apply what we're playing? So for example, if I get this note and I bend to it, right? How fast do I bend? Or do I go? Right? Or how fast do I hammer on? Sounds completely different. The technique is exactly the same. The note is exactly the same, but it feels absolutely different. The third one is timing. Where in this, the, what we're trying to play, where in the beats are we gonna apply the notes we want to play? So if we're playing in a four, four, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna use this note, where are we gonna play that note, right? So are we gonna play it on beat one? Two, three, four. Are we gonna play it on beat four? One, two, three, four. Right? Are we gonna wait eight beats and then come in with that note? Or if we combine more notes, then it gets really crazy, right? Like I'm gonna start this. So simple, right? But I'm gonna play it starting on beat one. One. Let's, let's start on uh, beat three. One, two. It sounds completely different to this. But I played exactly the same thing, or I could go. <laughs> sounds absolutely different, but I'm playing exactly the same thing, okay? That's number three, timing. And number four is my all-time favorite, vibrato. It's what makes every note sounds special. Like if you play this, it kind of sounds like, okay. But if you play this, it just makes it sound very nice. Again, first one is attack. The second one is speed. The third is timing. And the fourth is vibrato. If you're struggling, to make your solo sound interesting, apply those four things. I hope you like it. If you wanna download this little book, the link is gonna be somewhere down there, and I'll see you inside.